Hello my beautiful people and today I will be recreating this beautiful makeup look from the one and only Brianna Marie the cut crease queen. If y'all want to see how I achieved this look or her look please continue to watch. So first I started off with a fresh face. I already did my brows off camera because you guys already know how to do brows. Unless you want to see brows again, just let me know and I'll do another video. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. And that's what I'm going to use as my eyeshadow base today. After that, I'm going to use my setting brush from Real Technique just to blend out the concealer and I'm going to blend it as seamlessly as possible. And for this look today, the shadows will be coming from the matte book. And I'm going to use that burgundy shade and the orange shade. I eventually had was to use my Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette to get the orange because I did not like how the orange from the matte book was. I didn't like the effect that it was giving me. It was kind of ashy and no, that couldn't work. So I'm just going to go in with that burgundy shade and I'm going to pack it onto my crease to my liking and this is not a cut crease okay so I'm gonna pack the burgundy and then I'm going to use the orange to blend out the edges but you're gonna see later on that I did not continue with the orange from the matte book because as I said I did not like the payoff it was too ashy and it kind of looked chalky so I had was to change Honestly, I didn't feel like that orange was supposed to, was given what it was supposed to give. So I had was to change. Then I just kept on going back and forth with those two colors to get a nice and even blend. So now for the lids, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the concealer onto my lid and I'm just going to blend that onto the lids. As I said, it's not a cut crease, so it doesn't have to be evenly 
cut you just want it to make sure it's blended smoothly then I'm going to go into my zodiac from my BH cosmetics palette and I'm going to use that shimmer and pack that onto my lid That brush I'm using to pack the shimmer, it's a brush from the from a from the BH Cosmetics set in the oh it doesn't have a name, it has a number four on it. And the one I was using to pack the burgundy previously, it's my real technique shading brush. And the one that I was using for the orange to blend the edges out, it's from Morphe. It's it, it's just from a set, it has no number or name on it after packing the shimmer i'm just gonna go back with my orange and burgundy colors just to make a good blend at the corner of my eyes so it doesn't show where the two colors meet and guys if you could just see this blend with your naked eyes i'm telling you it's seamless and it's so so smooth I'm not sure if these are the exact colors Brianna Marie used, but this these were the closest I could find. Now I'm going to draw a wing liner. I think I started off the wing too big. I don't know what happened because normally I know I should start small but for some reason I ended going too big but eventually it worked out so now I'm just going to add my lashes and see how it looks. And guys doesn't matter how you think your makeup looks are looking just add some lashes and then you'll see man it, it, it comes from zero to 100 so now I'm just gonna go off camera I'm going to do the other eye and then I'll come back to finish my face okay The foundation I used is my Super Stay Super Stay foundation in the shade 360 Mocha. For my highlights, I use the same concealer, the Elegor Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn, and for my contour, I use the foundation stick from Juvia's Place in the shade Congo. And I'm going to blend my contour first because I like when my concealer or highlight sits a bit. And the that brush is that brush I'm using is from the Crayon Craze Crayon Case, and it's a double end brush. I also love to use that brush for my foundation as well. And to blend my highlights, I'm going to use the setting brush I was using before. That's from um, Real Techniques. To set my contour, I'm going to use my Morphe 8D Glam Palette. As you all should know, that's, that's what I love to use. And for my setting powder, I'm going to use my Juvia's Place setting powder in the shade, shade Kalahari. Hope I'm not butchering that name. Mm -hmm. 
and guys since using the blending sponge my makeup is so beautiful it's so smooth it's just have this airbrush finish i don't know if you can see it on camera but it was looking super smooth super good to set my all over face i wouldn't normally do this but i find that it keeps my makeup lasting longer i am going to use my black opal matte finish powder in the shade 500 and i'm going to use it on my beauty blender to set all over my face I don't know if you don't know if you guys can see but I'm telling you I did not set my face as yet and can you see how all the products that I added to my face just sits well now that's what I use for my blush the same 8D glam I use that red shade for my blush And guys, I really wanted to do an orange lips like hers, but man, I tell you, that thing made me look so ugly. I didn't think it made the makeup look so good. So I'm, you're going to see in the end where I um, tried it, but it uh, did not work. So I'm going for this lip pencil. I do not see a brand name on it, but I know it's called Ice. It's a eye and lip liner. And I just wanted to use that to line my lips then. I think I went in with my um, I went in with my NYX butter gloss in the shade maple blondie and I tell you no way <laughs> you're gonna see it was not a good look at all <laughs> I was thinking maybe I should have made that lip matte it probably would have looked better but no way so I change and do my regular like a gloss and pencil lip and that came out so much better or i used a pencil and my morphe lip gloss i don't remember what what i used but you're gonna see what happened also i forgot to mention that i did my waterline off camera i just added some white in my waterline that i used my jumbo nyx white pencil and use the same color i use on my lids to blend the bottom so that's the finished look guys i did not like that lip i wasn't having it at all so i went and changed look at that look at that can you all tell the difference it made the look so much better tell me in the comment section how well you think i did with brianna marie look and thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed as yet please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another upload bye bye